By the end of this Camtasia tutorial, you should be able to do a text highlight effect like you see many news outlets do uh, when they want to highlight something, let's say maybe from a newspaper. And also to add to that, I'll add a zoom and pop out effect. Hi, my name is David. And if this is your first time watching my video tutorials and you get any value from the content that you watch, kindly consider subscribing, like the video and share it with your friends. To begin, let's just check out our sample video and the end result that we'll get. Let's just double click on this video. And you can notice that there is a pop out of this particular section and then a highlight of this uh, information here. This is like you see in the news and this is an excerpt from uh, the Washington Post. Let's just play it all out. It goes back. So it's a pop out and highlight effect. So it's pretty easy to do. So we're inside Camtasia 2020 and I want to recreate this particular effect and I already have the original here. So let's just go uh, to another section here and our asset is here, uh, just uh, a screenshot from the Washington Post and we can add it to track one. Once we do that, we can just copy it, control C and then control V to paste it on the track above uh, and uh, you can see they're both the same size and they're about five seconds. So once we do that, for this track two, we need to crop it. So if the crop tool is not already selected, just click on it here and you'll notice that there are boxes that appear. We want to crop into the section that pops out. Just uh, scroll down and you might think that nothing is happening, but there's something happening. Uh, just crop until somewhere like there and also the edges. So there we go. And then we bring this down to this section. So that's good enough. Let's just go back uh, to uh, to where we were. So what we need to begin with is just zooming in and uh, we'll need to add a call out. Just go to the animations, animations, and then just add a custom animation. And we can just pull it down here up to that particular section. And once you do that, what we can do with this particular red dot highlighted by the playhead is uh, let's say do a quick pull out just like that. Once we pull it to that particular section or where you want it to be, let's say it's somewhere there, pull it out up to that particular section, that's okay. And then we can move to almost the end of, the, uh, of this particular image and then restore it to its original uh, value uh, where it's back in the, uh, in the web page. Let's just uh, move this somewhere there. And then just give it a slight uh, movement, not a rapid one. And that's good for now. Let's add a border to this. So we just come to more visual properties and just uh, drop in a border. There we have it. And you may notice like there's nothing, but if we add a uh, thickness of about 10, press on enter, you'll notice there's uh, some border that comes in and you can actually change the color if you want to see if uh, the border is actually there and you see it's there, but a white for this looks good. Uh, we can also add, let's say something like a drop shadow. So there we go. Pop. And there's a drop shadow just beneath that. So that's good. We already have what we need. Now the next thing that we need to do is we need to add the text highlight effect. So we'll need to go to annotations, go to shapes, and then we can just choose any shape and just drag and drop it. Let's say there, and then move this to about there because this will already have started some sort of animation uh, and this will already have locked in place where we want the text highlight effect to occur. We have our white box here. So the first thing we'll need to do uh, to this uh, shape callout uh, is just change the color. Let's change the color to to a yellow. Uh, most of these uh, text highlight effects use uh, the yellow color. And the yellow color, the hex code is uh, hashtag FFFF00. Add 00 at the end and press on enter. And the text box goes 
yellow. So here we go. We just need to resize it. Uh, resize it. Just to bring this down. There we go. And then you can move it up with the arrow keys until it fits the section that you want. If I drag it to the end, let's say we want it to just highlight the quoted section, you'll notice that you can't see anything. So what we need to do is just drop the uh, opacity slightly. Let's say we give it up to 53%. Looks good. And then you can just pull this uh, in slightly. Just click out. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, looks good. So there we have it. If we play our video, it just pops out, nothing else happens. Now let's give some movement to a highlight effect. So we'll need to come to transitions and then scroll down and get the option to slide right. So you see the way it goes, just slides right slowly. Just drag and drop it on this particular shape. So let's move it to almost that particular section. And you can already see uh, how it's uh, how, how it looks like. If I move back, you'll notice that from this section, there's nothing. And then from that section, the text starts coming in, coming in, coming in to that point, And it's done. So this is what you do. You just uh, do that. And if we play it, there we go. There we go. So if there was some sort of narration, uh, that's the original. If there was some sort of narration going in here, then you should try and match the speed of the highlight to uh, what is going on. So uh, the longer it is, the longer it delays to come in. So there we go, there we go, almost there. So really depends on uh, the media you're working on and everything. But that's just a simple step-by-step -step process of how you can create a text highlight effect and a zoom and pop-up effect in Camtasia to create emphasis for maybe a new segment that you're working on or any other type of uh, emphasis you wanted to create for your videos. Thank you so much for watching this video and until next time, stay safe and never stop learning. Thank you so much for watching this video.